Yo, what is up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. So glad you guys are here. Welcome in, welcome back. As always, my name is Silky Creamy and I do very niche review videos. We take a deep dive, taking a look at the product inside and out, up and close and personal. We take our first impressions and uh, see how it matches up against the artisan and we learn from the artisan, the inspiration and what's inside. And as always, if you are returning or a subscriber to this channel, I appreciate you so much and welcome back. Welcome back. So today we're going to be doing Birch and Root from McDuff Soap Company. And um, full disclosure going in, um, I apparently ordered the liquid soap and not the aftershave splash. <laughs> like an idiot. Um, so I don't have the aftershave splash for this particular scent. So... Just giving you guys an FYI, I will be buying the aftershave splash. I just don't have it right now. But anyway, that's okay. We all know that this is going to be a root beer scent, right? At least I think that's what it's going to be. So anyway, there we are. We have a very, very cool... Um, this is not a photograph. This is definitely art. A glass of ice cubes and root beer being poured in i like how they don't have the uh, perfect lines around the edge gives it a little bit more character but this is a very simple um label you know there you have it just root beer going in over some rocks mcduff soap company is out of alberta canada and there you have the side label so they have actually the scent notes in here. So it's birch bark, blue spruce, fir balsam, vanilla, wintergreen, and spice. Grass fed, beef tallow, shea cocum, cocoa and mango butter, tremella mushroom, green tea extracts, goat's milk, aloe, and yogurt. For me, the tremella and the, um, where is it? The silk are the, 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 the winner here. Like that is like metal foam oil. I don't know if the metal foam is in here or not. Is there metal foam in here? Like that stuff is good too. Um, but anyway, this stuff makes your skin like super, super uh, moist and um, moisturized. Anyway, let's go ahead and take our first look. Bing, look at this. So this is what um, light cheese of stone fruit look like. It has a peanut butter appearance to it, as you can see. You have some slight cratering happening, uh, but a very nice... Um, it's it's very soft the soap is very soft yeah um it almost has like a again a peanut butter appearance to it but this lathers up quite well just like any other soap let's do our first smell oh yeah this is oh yeah baby this is like real sarsaparilla that's what this smells like this smells like real sarsaparilla root which is like root beer oh this is amazing. I don't know how they did that. This just smells like the best root beer I've ever smelled. This is unlike any type of soda or pop that you buy. Like A&W or Monk's root beer. Um, or any of your um, store branded root beer. This is like real stuff. Real sarsaparilla. Holy smokes. This stuff smells so good. Look at that pour. All right, let's go ahead and read from the website. And we have here, all right, notes, birch bark, blue spruce, fir balsam, fir needle, vanilla, wintergreen, spice, ginger, and cedarwood. Classic root beer scent that draws inspiration from traditional herbal focused recipes. This is made with our version four base. So again, really, really, really good um, base. I had a tremendous um, experience with this um, base with lychee as a stone fruit. Literally was probably the best 
post-shave experience I've had with any base out there. Kaizen 2E is up there also, but it did not, like after putting on the aftershave splash and drying down, like my skin um, with the version four McDuff's was way better than um, the Kaizen 2E with the splash, which tells you a lot because, you know, I think Kaizen 2E is the best base period. Uh, but I don't know if it's the combination of the Tremella extract with the um, Witch Hazel um, or what. I don't know what it is, but absolutely the best. Um, so hopefully we'll get that same um, experience when we um, when we use this um, and try it out. So as always, I appreciate you for stopping by. I'm sorry I don't have the aftershave here, but I know that their, their aftershaves um, do not have any... Uh, alcohol in it it's witch, witch hazel and aloe vera so it's really like skin nourishing stuff um so hope you folks enjoyed this will be a short video uh, this is birch and root from mcduff soap company out of canada and um again scent strength on this was like a five um it's not cheap stuff it's 24.99 us uh for five ounces I believe five ounces 120 grams um so it's not cheap but you got high-end products in here and um i mean the 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 feel i get from this is just amazing so as always um let's make sure we take care of one another out there let's bring each other up and help each other and um this is these are tough times right now and, and as you know this each and every community that we are in is all suffering in some way. So let's be that, that, that beacon of hope and uh, let's be that positive force out there. All right. Um, let's try our best. As always, I appreciate you folks for stopping by. And I really, 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 really appreciate you folks uh, being there for me and helping to lift me up. Really, really appreciate that. Take care out there. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.